In today's video, we will be looking at the electrical resistance. To be particular, we'll be looking at the calculating the electrical resistance in series circuit with Ohm's law. So particularly, what is Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that V is equal to I times R, where R is resistance and I is current, then V is voltage. All right. I did a video that talked much about what Ohm's law is. And if you want to watch and understand better about what Ohm's law is, you can click on the link appearing here. So before we dive deep into the today's video, let us look at what resistance, current, and voltage are. All right, so we'll start with the resistance. So resistance is defined as the opposition to the flow of electric current, and current is defined as the rate of flow of electric charge in a circuit, while voltage is defined as the energy supplied to one coulomb of charge in a circuit. All right, so having given you the understanding of what these terms are let's go straight and look at what uh, the lesson of the day is going to do with so we'll be dealing with the series circuit so what is a series circuit basically a series circuit is a circuit in which electrical components are connected end to end or one after another as shown below so here if we have a cell here another cell here then we have a bulb here, another bulb here. Then if we connect a conductor like that, and here we connect one and here also, and a switch here. So such a circuit that we have come up with is called a series circuit because when we switch it on like this, we are able to see our bulb coming on. So, and we are able to see electrons flowing. All right, so the concept to learn here is that one, uh, current is the same in each component of the circuit. So in these components of the circuit, which are the electric bulb or lamps and also the cells here, the current that is flowing in each of these components is actually the same. Then another concept to learn about series circuit is that voltage is not the same across each component of the circuit. All right. For example, what we mean here is that, for example, if we are to set up um, an ammeter here, we are calling ammeter 1 uh, or A1 and also an ammeter here that we are calling A2 and an ammeter here we are calling A3. What it is is that if we are to switch on, for example, the switch and you allow electric current to flow, uh, what we are saying is that the amount of current that will be measured by ammeter 1 and ammeter 2 and ammeter 3 will be just the same. All right. Why? Because the amount of charge that flows in ammeter 1, ammeter 2, and ammeter 3 are basically the same. So that is why even the current is actually the same. All right. So let's look at this another scenario. So in another scenario, uh, what we mean here is that if the current flowing or produced by the uh, cells is called IT, which is total current, and the current flowing through ammeter 1 is I1, which is current 1, and then the ammeter flowing through uh, ammeter 2, uh, the current flowing through ammeter 2 is I2, and the current flowing through ammeter uh, A3 is I3, uh, which is current 3. Basically, what it is, is that this current must be equal to this, must be equal to this, must be equal to this, as represented by this equation here. So total current produced by the cell is the same as the current th flowing through ammeter 1, I1, and also the current flowing through ammeter 2, I2, which is also the same as the current flowing through ammeter 3, which is uh, current I3. All right, so another concept to note here is that, for example, if we were to put a voltmeter here, which we are calling V1, and also a voltmeter here we are calling V2, basically what we are trying to say is that if also we put um, a voltmeter here, we are calling VT, which is measuring the total voltage being generated by the cell here, the voltage measured across a uh, voltmeter 1 is actually different to the voltage measured across the voltmeter 2 and that measured across the uh, cells here. Yeah, so the reason being is that uh, this electrical energy, remember, 
uh, they carry the energy called the volt. So since these cells are operating due to the energy, so as they pass through this cell, some of the energy is lost here. So they will not reach with the same energy that they had from here. So because of that, since some of the energy will be lost in lighting up the bulb here, that will mean that they will remain with less energy here. So uh, the energy that will be measured here, which will be used in this bulb again, won't be the same as the energy these electrons had here or these electric charge had here because some of the air, their energy would have been used in this electrical energy. So from this, uh, what we can learn is that uh, the voltage which is supplied by the cell, when it comes here, it is reduced. And when it comes here, it is even reduced more. So it is not the same as that. But however, what we know is the total voltage produced here, uh, according to the conservation of energy, must be equal to the energy supplied here plus the energy supplied there. All right? So now, from here, we can construct uh, a formula for calculating electrical resistance in series circuits. So let's move a bit and see how we are going to develop this concept together and pay attention, watch this video up to the end for you to be able to understand the concept being delivered here. I hope you understand and if you are not understanding, please let me know in the comment section. So let's move and uh, replace these electric bulbs. So we are replacing these electric bulbs here these electric bulbs here with uh, the actual resistance now. So if um, the resistance that was uh, produced to the flow of electric current by electric bulb 1 is called R1 and the electrical resistance that was offered by bulb 2 is called R2, then what we should know is that if the current being produced here again is IT, which is total current produced by the cell is IT. And then the current that is flowing through resistor R1 is called I1. And then the current flowing through resistor R2 is called R2. We say that these currents will be the same. So applying Ohm's law, uh, we are going to find out how to calculate the voltage here and how we should calculate the voltage here and how we should calculate the voltage here. Since we know uh, the current flowing is IT here and then the resistance of the circuit here will be the total resistance that will be used to find the voltage. Because using Ohm's law, we know that voltage is equal to I times R or current times the resistance. So applying Ohm's law here, we are able to know how much voltage we should calculate or for uh, yeah, how we can calculate this voltage here using Ohm's law. So this voltage here can be calculated by saying total voltage here must be equal to the total current times the total resistance that is being offered in the circuit, which we don't know. Also, we can say the voltage also across this voltmeter here also can be calculated by saying V1 here can be calculated also by saying uh, current one passing through here times the resistance one here. Also the same way we can say the voltage being consumed across resistor two can be calculated by saying uh, the current which is flowing here, current two times the resistor offered to the same current there. All right. So now uh, replacing these uh, uh, formulas into our equation here because we know here that Vt must be equal to V1 plus V2. So we know how to find Vt. Vt can also be found by IT, RT, and we also know how to find V1. V1 can be found by I1, R1, and we also know how to find V2, which can be found by I2, R2. So now we can simply replace these into these equations. So this takes up this place. This, uh, which is this, takes up this place. This, which is this, is take, uh, this takes up its place in the equation. So we say where there's this, uh, which is this one equal to this, we replace it with this equals, this equal comes here. Then this one, we replace it with this value here 
plus comes here, then this is replaced by that. All right, then uh, because the space is in, uh, near, let's move a bit here. Yeah, so now what we are saying uh, is that now we have in this uh, equation of ours, our new equation, we have current T, current 1, current 2. But we already determined that these currents are similar or are the same. So since they are the same, we can just replace this uh, with one current which will represent all of them, which is just I. So same, I times RT is equal to I, the same, because these are the same, I R1 plus I um, R2. So the next thing to do here is to to divide so that we eliminate the common factor that is appearing on all the terms. That's how mathematics works. So the common factor here is I, so we'll say divided by I, here by I, here, also by I. So if we cancel out I here and here and also here, uh, what we are going to remain with here is RT equals to here we remain with R1 plus and here we remain with the R2. So now this one becomes the formula for calculating the total resistance being offered in the circuit like this, the series circuit. So the total resistance offered in a series circuit is calculated by this formula which says RT which is total resistance is equal to R1 resistance being offered by this uh, electrical component here plus resistor 2 which is resistor being offered by this electrical component to here. All right, so uh, let's move to the next part of our lesson, which is going to look at uh, an example of how to apply this actual um, formula in examination question. So we have an examination question uh, which came in paper one in 2019, science paper one. And this is the question here. Uh, the question says uh, B7, actually it was B7, which says a figure B7.1 is a security diagram with two resistors connected to a 3 volt power supply. Yeah, so this is the figure they are telling us, which has two resistors, which with uh, both with the same resistance, which is 2 ohm, 2 ohm. And then we are told that there is also a power supply of 3 volts and this is a switch and this is an ammeter here. This is the symbol for an ammeter. Then A they are saying identify the type of circuit arrangement of the resistors shown in the circuit above. So what kind of circuit arrangement is this uh, one being shown by these resistors as they are connected like this. Then the next question says... Uh, calculate the resist the total resistance in the circuit. So how can we calculate total resistance in such a circuit we have seen? Then in C, calculate the ammeter reading when the switch is closed. So they want also us to calculate the ammeter reading uh, to show how much current is actually flowing in the circuit. So let's move to the answers now. So yeah, before that, there's an added question here where we also, I decided to add question D, which can also bring more concept and understanding to the situation. So uh, D says calculate the voltage across one of the resistors. So let's go straight and see how we can answer this question. All right, so let's come back to this question where they are saying identify the type of circuit arrangement of the resistors shown in the circuit above. So when you look at these resistors, since they are connected end to end, we can conclude that this kind of connection or arrangement is a series circuit, all right? So let's go to another question, which is question B. Question B says, uh, calculate the total resistance in the circuit. So we have already established the formula for calculating the total resistance in the circuit, which is this circuit here. So since these resistors are connected in series, we apply the same formula we derived. RT total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2. So since that is the case, what we are going to do here now is to substitute where there's R1, we'll put this one, R2, we put this one. So it is going to be R total is equal to 2 plus 2, which is going to be equal to 4. And this symbol means ohms, which is the unit for resistance. So 
we'll put our answer here as 4 ohms as the total resistance. Then C says calculate the ammeter reading when the switch is closed. So when this switch is closed here, we expect current to begin flowing here. So what will be the ammeter reading? So what you should understand is that we will apply Ohm's law which says voltage is equal to current times resistance and then we'll make um, current I the subject of the formula because the, the ammeter here reads the value of current. So that's why we need to calculate that current which will be what uh, the ammeter is going to read. So we are going to say uh, uh, making I the subject of the formula or we'll have I is equal to V divided by R and whenever you are calculating the uh, ammeter uh, uh, reading or the current uh, you must understand is that the current which flows in this resistor is the same one which flows in this so for you to be able to calculate that current you must add this resistance to find the total so in short we already found the total resistance which is a uh, 4 here so what we are going to do is to say I uh, will use voltage because V is voltage, the same voltage supplied divided by the total resistance which we already found here, which will give us I is equal to 0 0.75 amps and A is the unit for current and it's called amps. So you put amps there. Then we go to the next question, which is actually the added question, which says uh, calculate the voltage across one of the resistors so we'll bring this diagram here so let's find out what will be the voltage across one of these resistors so we know voltage must be given by i times r so the current flowing is already known we have already established the current flowing which is 0 0.75 then times the actual resistance being offered here so we'll say is equal to 0 0.75 times 2 which will be 1.5 so the resistor here must be 1.5 I mean the voltage here must be 1.5 so equally here the voltage must be 1.5 because they are both offering the same resistance and it is logical because if you add the voltage which is being produced here and the one being produced here here it is 1.5 and here it will be also 1.5 when you add the two they should be add up to uh, 3 in accordance with the formula that we uh, already derived. So if you enjoyed this lesson and if you have learned also something, please consider giving it a like and let me also know what you think about this lesson in the comment section. Guys, as for now, bye and see you in the next lesson. Peace.